Eight months after the producer was arrested and the show was abruptly canceled, ticket holders for the Orlando Music Festival are still waiting to get their money back. What a nightmare. News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval has been working to get results on this since he first broke the story last year. And he's here now with some new developments, Eric. Yeah, uh, this has not been easy for these ticket holders, guys. We have confirmed that some of them have filed complaints with the Florida Attorney General's office, and some of them have actually moved forward with the investigation. You know, for some of these music lovers, uh, they spent hundreds of dollars for these tickets, and they simply want their money back. Oh, my gosh. Well, we've, we've got a little bit of everything here. Anita Salas and her husband love smooth jazz. Probably uh, some of the... Straight Note Chaser is, is one of our, our favorites. That's why they spent about $150 for tickets to the Orlando Music Festival, which was scheduled for last 4th of July weekend at the Central Florida Fairgrounds. A whole weekend of jazz, and especially over a holiday weekend, we thought, oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. The lineup was, holy cow, look at this. David Thompson shelled out more than $1,000 for his tickets. But as New Six first uncovered, the festival was abruptly canceled when its creator, James Walker Watson, was arrested by the FBI. Investigators charged him with fraud in connection with another music festival in Dallas. In fact, our investigation last year revealed that Watson had served prison time for similar crimes at other festivals in Houston and Sacramento. I have a track record of being a successful producer. Uh, I've had two stumbling blocks out of 36 music festivals. And, um, but there were stumbling blocks that sent you to prison. Yes, they were. They were. And I said, I've learned my lesson, so I'm finished with it. Salas and Thompson say they are still waiting for their money back. They've joined other ticket holders in filing complaints with the Florida Attorney General's office. And we found out Thompson's complaint has been forwarded on to the Consumer Protection Division which enforces violations of the Unfair Trade Practices Act. When you read this, you know, did you feel like they heard you? Yeah, at least I didn't get the thank you for your response, and we appreciate it. This mm -hmm. was like, okay, we've heard your concerns, and here's some other places you look at, too. Mm -hmm. So I'm hopeful that something will happen here. Since our investigation last year, the Orlando Music Festival's website has been taken down. Our emails and calls asking other festival leaders about refunds have gone unanswered. And now Watson is admitting to financial problems. From a jail cell in Texas, he has now filed a lawsuit here in Orange County against one of the production companies he hired for the festival. He's seeking $80,000 in what he calls unreturned deposit money. In the suit, he says not having that deposit back has impacted his ability to settle obligations due to the cancellation of the festival. He's not said whether the event was insured. They owe us the money. Uh... Give it back. Make this right. Refund our money and refund the money to all the other people that, you know, in good faith, thought that they were going to be attending a concert. And get this, guys. I have gotten emails from people across the country mm -hmm. who bought tickets for this event asking how we can help them get results and get their money back. They were flying in from yeah, all yeah. over the country for this. Uh, both the Florida Attorney General's Office and the FBI are urging ticket holders file a complaint with both of their offices. We put a link to those on our website at clickorlando.com. This is like Firefest 2.0. It really is, It's actually. crazy. Uh, yeah. So do we have an update on the latest when it comes to the case against this festival creator? Yes. So I have asked for a jailhouse interview with mm -hmm. him uh, twice now. He has denied me both times. Uh, he's being held in jail in Texas, and his case was actually set for trial this month, but it has now been delayed until August. So we're going to have to wait till then for at least another hearing in the case. Mm. And there are people even in Texas who were bilked out of their life savings over this. There were people in Titusville that were mm. bilked out of their life savings on mm. this. This guy in our previous reporting, you know, he was using romance as part of his investment scheme. You know, he would find a woman, fall in love with her, and then drain their uh, retirement accounts. Mm. And one of them actually lives in Titusville. We spoke with her. There was uh, two sisters who actually literally lost their family farm mm. because they invested so much money with mm. this man in other festivals, 
and then just didn't deliver. What should people do if they do want to invest in something like, say, a festival or putting on an event to protect themselves, you know? It's a good question. And actually, we asked the Better Business Bureau for mm -hmm. some tips on that, and we put those on our website, clickorlando.com. So many dots to connect here. It's been no doubt challenging for you. Talk about those challenges and what you've been seeing. What you've, well, first of all, he, he, I want to make this totally clear. He has not been charged with any crimes mm -hmm. in connection with the Orlando Music Festival, but there is an investigation going on right now, both at the state and the federal level, and that's why they do want to hear from ticket holders and anybody who may have invested in the Orlando Music Festival. But right now, we're, we're focusing on his case in Texas, but mm -hmm. at the same time, trying to get all these people, their money back. What's the and likelihood there, do you think? I mean, I, I know you don't have a crystal ball, but... I don't. The, it gives me hope that the Florida Attorney General's office yeah. is now involved because they have the legal authority to actually go after the people who may have the money, who may be holding the money bags in this case. Mm. Unfortunately, it's just going to be a waiting game. You think it, we're looking at another year, more than that? Mm. Probably about another year, yeah. yeah. Golly. Yeah. yeah. You just never know. You just never know. I, I know you'll stay on top of it. We Eric. definitely will. Uh, it's a fascinating story with so many layers to it, and I feel so bad for the people yeah. who have lost I do so much too. money. It's but. made a lot of people gun shy when they buy yeah. tickets now Absolutely. for any concert. Absolutely. You know? It's All really right. sad. We'll keep us updated. Thank you, sir. You got it.